So in this video, I'm going to talk about the stereochemistry associated with SN1 reactions. So SN1 reactions proceed with racemization, which is also known as essentially scrambling of the stereochemistry. And so let's talk about what that means. So we're going to start off with this molecule. And so we're going to start off with this molecule. And as you recall from the last video, first step is for the bromine to essentially leave. So then you're going to get, you're going to have this molecule right here. And so I drew it as a trigonal planar geometry because it has the, the carbon has the positive charge on it. And so this molecule would look like that. Imagine everything is, essentially it looks like the Mercedes-Benz logo. And it's flat, and the name of it is actually called trigonal planar, this geometry. And now if you can imagine kind of like a flat thing, picture it in your head. And this middle carbon is the electrophile, obviously. So if you picture the nucleophile, it can either come in and attack from above the carbon or below the carbon. And so that can result in two different configurations, an R and an S. And you're going to get a 50-50 mix of this, and this is called a racemic mix, or this reaction proceeds with racemization or scrambling of stereochemistry. And let me show you how that occurs. So we're going to take this molecule and go to the next page so we have some room. So I just redrew this molecule. So we are pretty much essentially looking at it from the side instead of directly from above, if you can picture that. So this hydrogen right here is pointing away from you and this CH3 is pointing at you. So just picture that, because that's what we're going to be working with right here. And let me just clear that. And so now we're going to talk about the two different paths this reaction can take. So one thing that can occur is the nucleophile, which we have CH3OH is a nucleophile. It could come in and attack from the top. And so if that occurs, remember the oxygen more specifically is a nucleophile, if that occurs, then this product is going to form. So we have this as our final product of the SN1 reaction. And so let's give it a configuration, R or S, because obviously this carbon is chiral. And so we're going to rank them 1, 2, three, the hydrogens pointing in the back, the fourth group. So this is clockwise. So this would be designated as an R. And so that's what occurs if the nucleophile attacks from on top. Now, let's see what happens when this nucleophile attacks from below. So if that happens, you'll get this product. And so this is the product you would get. And now let's try and assign a configuration to that. So it would be the same thing. One, two, three. And so as you can see, this one goes counterclockwise, and it would be designated as an S. So some of the config sometimes the configuration is retained, while sometimes it's inverted. And so if you ever have this, um, 
if you ever have this SN1 reaction, the stereochemistry of the end products will be a 50-50 mix. And that is called a racemic mix. And it's exactly 50-50%. So it's not 49-51, it's exactly 50-50. And that's probably something that's going to be on tests in the future. And so that pretty much sums it up for SN1 stereochemistry. You just have to remember that the carbocation can be attacked from both sides, so from above or below by the nucleophile, and depending on which side it attacks from, you could get a different configuration of the final molecule. And so I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.